You all know the shot by Michael Jordan. As iconic as it is, there's always that argument about being an offensive foul, but it was never called against MJ. However, that didn't work too well for Devin Harris when he tried to be like Mike and attempted almost the exact same move. Regardless of how things will turn out, today's players enjoy imitating some of the moves from their GOAT. And I'll show you a few examples. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Starting things off with LeBron James. The ESPN crew noticed a few seasons ago that LeBron tried to mimic a few of MJ's moves while playing in the house that Jordan built. So was this a coincidence? The guys from ESPN think it's not. Also, LeBron once executed his very own version of the legendary switch hands layup from 1991. It sure didn't look as cool when James did it, but still, he was able to pull it off. Next up, anyone remember Michael licking his fingers? Well, Jamal Murray obviously does, but I doubt that he'll ever do it again without washing his hands first. You know, with this whole situation… ok, moving on. Now here's a guy that really wanted to be like Mike. Rip Hamilton began his NBA career on the Wizards playing alongside MJ, and as Michael would hit a game winner and pose with his famous fist pump, Hamilton would run right next to him and do the exact same thing. So when he moved on from Washington and joined the Detroit Pistons, this celebration stayed with Rip on game winners even without his idol on the team. Probably the most imitated MJ thing is the shrug. He famously did it during the 1992 finals after hitting his 6 consecutive 3 pointers in the first half. So naturally it has become a symbol for being blazing hot from downtown. A lot of players starting from the average guys all the way to the elite of the NBA use this as a way of telling their opponents that they cannot be stopped. Kemba Walker even did it right in front of MJ as the Hornets owner was watching from the sideline. And last but not least, even the greatest shooter of all time, at least in my opinion, can sometimes surprise himself, so here's Steph Curry with his own version of the shrug. Oftentimes, when he got fast break opportunities, Michael liked to do this dunk, cradling the ball in the air. The originator is actually Larry Nance, but MJ made it popular. So here's JaVale McGee replicating it in a summer league game. Then we got Rudy Gay with a slightly modified cradle dunk. And to finish things off, it only makes sense to include Larry Nance Jr., who admittedly is probably copying his dad more than he is copying Jordan here. And of course, how can there be a video like this without mentioning Kobe Bryant? He was by far the closest thing that we ever got to Michael Jordan. The Mamba studied every aspect of Jordan and wanted to replicate that. The first thing that comes to mind are of course the fadeaways and the incredible footwork, but then Kobe would go on to insane lengths to exactly replicate things like celebrating winning the championship or the overall demeanor and the killer instinct that ultimately got him in the top 10 and even top 5 of all time depending on who you ask. At the end of the day, if you're going to copy someone, it might as well be the greatest player of all time. Hey everyone, it's been a long time. I haven't been feeling 100% for a while now and it's still pretty much the same to be honest, but at least I want to feel better psychologically since I love making these videos and I love interacting with you guys in the comments. So I'm not gonna rush things, I'm not gonna put pressure on myself, it's gonna be one video at a time and let's see where this takes us, okay? But nevertheless, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys for your continued support. It really, really means a lot, guys. I love you and talk to you in the next one. Peace out.